All right, howdy folks, and welcome to Gridiron Live. Hope everyone is having a good Friday afternoon. Today we are going to be playing NCAA Game Breaker 2001. Uh, we are going to be doing basically a national championship run, which is basically just a career mode. Um, we're going to be using North Texas today. Um, so we're going to see how far we can get. But before that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. <laughs> right to bear arms is guaranteed in the Constitution, sir. We're going to hold Andre by the nose, and we're going to kick him in the ass. We're going to kick the hell out of him all the time, and we're going to go through him like crap through a goose. Roger Vick pounded his way for 11 yards and a touchdown after taking... We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. We're going to murder those lousy hun bastards by the bush. All right, so just making sure the stream looks good. What Restream tells me and then what YouTube tells me are kind of different, so looks good to me. All right, so, so the way I like to play this game is to um, just basically simulate the seasons and then kind of just work on scheduling and recruiting and then once once it happens we play the national championship game now sometimes it happens sometimes it, it doesn't it just depends on how things go and uh, I think I have accidentally skipped the oops accidentally skipped the Why can't I control this? Oh, yeah. So, um, I skipped the scheduling part on accident, so we're stuck with the schedule that we have. So, the first game is against Baylor. So, let's go ahead and simulate this. See how we do. So, we end up 4 and 6, and 3 and 2 in conference play. So, as expected, not very good. Um, let's see, I think I can close that now. Um, let's go ahead and go through the bowl game. So, it looks like the Game Breaker Bowl is between Ole Miss and Nebraska. Of course, Nebraska, back in this time period, was very, very strong. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of the Cornhuskers in this run, or pretty much any run. Also, uh, Virginia Tech is, is a very strong team in this game as well, starting out. So of course we don't get any bowl games. Um, Nebraska takes this one 27-3. Are there any notable games? Michigan takes the Rose Bowl. Who else is there? AM not looking too hot in the Cotton Bowl against USC. The Alamo Bowl. Oklahoma takes that one. Still had the intro open. Okay, so let's see if we don't get fired. Right off the bat. So 
needless to say, last season was a disappointing year for the program. We didn't play to our potential, failing to accomplish the goals we set before the season started. Our jobs are secure for now, but each of us must look in the mirror and see what we can do as coaches to make sure we're not embarrassed again next year. Let's do whatever we can to get this program on track. Get back to work. So that is coming from the North Texas head coach. Okay, so we were a defensive coordinator uh, this last season, and we've been demoted to an offense coach. Uh, of course, we can jump ship. This is one thing that's a little bit unrealistic about this game and a lot of other college football games. It's not just this game. Um, uh, but there's no, there's like no logic to take into account like your record or you know, how many games you won or your just different stats that would lend you to getting a better position. So right off the bat, we get an assistant head coach position hire or position offer from Texas and other top teams. Um, which isn't too realistic, but we're not going to worry about that right now since we're just going to try to stay at North Texas. So we'll just take the demotion and move on. Graduated seniors, we have our halfback, which was an 86, and a lot of sub-60 players. So mostly, the, the biggest hit was uh, number 34. Okay, so quarterbacks are very weak. Halfbacks are weak. Every position is weak right now. The kicker is the highest rated player on the team, it looks like, at 72. Um, and just a heads up, the way I play this game, there's a lot of scrolling through rosters. So just be, be, uh, be prepared for that. So we're going to recruit speed and see what we get. So any standouts, we do get a 75 defensive end. As a freshman, a 72 halfback as a freshman, 74 wide receiver as a freshman, um, cornerback at 72, and a safety at 70. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five players that are uh, above 70 rated. And the funny thing about this game is you can keep generating the the recruit list, but sometimes you just don't get kind of have to jump on opportunities to get certain certain roster sets. So we're just going to take this and get the uh, 570 overall players. So that should beef up our halfbacks, wide receivers, and defensive linemen and defensive backs just a little bit. And we're moving on to the blue chip recruiting. So you can't pick individual players in the regular recruiting, but you can pick a couple standouts. And I think that's a good balance between the AI picking every player and then having to meticulously pick, you know, each and every player that you want. So I think it, it I think it's a good balance. All right, so North Texas option QB. If you pick a running playbook, they want to give you an option quarterback. So you probably want to switch your playbook to passing in the menu before this, which I think we can do. Yeah. At least balanced. Yeah, that way you can get a, a quarterback with, you know, a, a QB that has a decent arm. Otherwise, you might get stuck with a running quarterback. And running with the QB is not really something you can do well in this game, at least in my experience. So, what's next? Um, I don't want to pick the highest rated player, so let's just go with... Do, do we have any Texas guys? No. We'll go with this 80, see if we can get him. 
half back. Let's do all. Let's do eighty for all of them except ones that are have us on our on their preference list. So, for example, this guy. We are number one. And funnily enough, just because you're number one on their list does not mean that you're going to get them. Let's see, lowest one is 82. This one, the lowest, is 81. We're number two here. Okay, so... We get an 80 halfback and an 82 wide receiver, both at freshman. And that's something you have to take take into account with this game is uh, you can't, or it, it's a good idea to pay attention to their year. Because, uh, for example, if you get a senior who's 75 and you get a freshman who's 75, obviously the freshman's going to have four years to develop. So... So we get two decent players, I guess. And here's the next big part about this, the way I like to play, is the schedule is very, very important. Um, you don't want to go too heavy, and you don't want to go too light either. So you got to find a good balance. Right off the bat, let's take Virgi uh, Virginia Tech off, because that's definitely going to be a loss. Let's take Western Michigan. West Virginia on there twice? No. Then we'll take Wyoming. I forget who is conference and who isn't. I know for sure Virginia Tech is not in, in conference. I know they're not in conference either. We'll put Wyoming here. Oops. Oh yeah, and you can add extra games if you want. Which I guess we can do. Let's add someone pretty weak. UTEP, which at this case, at this stage, might be a strong team. Let's see. We'll keep that schedule and move on. Okay, so we're going to sim. We do better overall this year, five and seven. Conference is still one and three. I wonder what conference we're in. I should probably uh, check to see it's, so I don't take out conference opponents because they're not locked in this game for sure. Um, let's see. Let's go down to... Are we in the Big West? I think we are. Okay, so... Boise, Idaho, North Texas. So we should be playing five conference games instead of four. Not sure why we only played four this time. Okay. Let's go... We finished ranked number 81. Number five in the Big West Conference, so... We're not the worst in the conference, but uh, we're, we're still at the bottom. Looks like uh, number four, freshman of the year. Running back of the year. And linebacker of the year. 
and Defensive Lineman of the Year. So oddly enough, um, we have some rising individual talent, but as a team, we're definitely not there yet. So we're going to go to bowl games. This year's national title game is between Oklahoma and Michigan. And Oklahoma takes that one 31 to 3. I'm guessing this was back in the Bob Stoops era, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, Virginia Tech. Almost in the national title game, but they lose to Utah in the Sports Bowl. TCU in the Red Zone Bowl blowing out number 12 Marshall. Big win there for the Horn Frogs. Minnesota losing to USC. Wonder if you can hear the game audio. Might be a little bit low right now. Let me turn it up. Just a smidge. So, who takes the Cotton Bowl? Nebraska by a field goal. Alabama beats Wisconsin in the Outback. Texas demolishes Arizona State. A&M losing another bowl game to, to the U, 28-17. The Micron PC Bowl. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see if we don't get fired. Nope, they give us another chance. We get demoted now to defense coach. That's great. And we're going to be losing our senior quarterback... Skill-wise, uh, not losing much there at 57. So once again, a lot of sub-60 players are leaving. That's okay, because they're going to make room for new players. Let's take a look at. Here's a QB at 79 overall, as a freshman. So in a couple of years, will probably be mid be mid to high 80s. Wide receiver at 78. Safety at 70. It's hard to get a 79 overall QB as a freshman. So we're gonna take this right off the bat. That should elevate our game. Still weak, very weak at tight end and linebackers. So we're gonna go out on a bat and or out on a limb. And uh, oh, this is not the QB. Okay, it's a defensive lineman. So we're gonna go low. New Mexico is closer than California, so we'll go with this one. Linebacker, let's see. Um, 82 is lowest. Defensive back. 84 overall. From Nolan's. We'll take him just because he's from Louisiana. Look at that. We get an 85 overall quarterback and a tight end that's 85. I don't remember picking those guys, but uh, we'll take them, I guess. 
So the uh, the quarterback is a junior, so that'll leave number seven to develop for a couple years and probably start at around 85, if we're lucky. Any, any major any major teams here North Carolina is a big team we'll switch that to New Mexico State oh they're already on the schedule how about Ohio tell me about Ohio And we'll add an extra game against, let's see, are they on the schedule, New Mexico? Yes. Do we want to face Jackie Sherrill's Mississippi State Bulldogs? No. Man, I wish... Jackie Sherrill had had a better ending to his career. He definitely put Mississippi State back on the map, though. That's for sure. And we'll take Miami, Ohio. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, here we go. It's looking good. Not bad. So this year we finished 11 and one. So it took us two seasons to get to, or I guess three seasons, to get to double digit wins and undefeated in conference play. So that's good. All right. Let's take a look at the season recap. I guess the, the Big West Conference uh, does not have a conference championship game. It's just a win or go home format. Uh, but we did finish number 17, 11-1, which is pretty good for our third year. Uh, who beat us? Nevada. Nevada by, what, two possessions? We just obliterated New Mexico 61 to 0. And uh, some. Actually, if you look at games against Navy all the way to Arkansas State, uh, it looks like we held the opposing offense to very, very low scores. You can see they have mostly field goals, and Idaho managed to score a touchdown. So. That's pretty good. It's like Nevada scored the most on us, followed by uh, Middle Tennessee. Okay, so I usually don't play the bowl games. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, should I play the Liberty Bowl? Yeah, why not? to check out the home page first. So we win the Big West. All freshman team candidate, number 74. Team leader in passing efficiency. Okay. Let's see who's in the national title. Houston and TCU, that's a surprise. Maybe not TCU because they did pretty well in their bowl game in the previous season, but Houston, kind of a dark horse candidate. Haven't seen them in the bowls past couple of years. It's 
find our bowl. The Equitable Liberty Bowl. Yeah, let's play it. Why not? So it's going to be in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, guess we can't switch it to nighttime. Okay, so we are on North Texas, okay. Now, North Texas actually has some pretty cool uniforms in this game. Um, very simple, but they just have a good, uh, good uh, design, I think. It looks a little bit like Michigan State, just because of the green and white, but uh, their pants are... Are, have a pretty cool stripe. I haven't seen their away uh, uniforms yet, so. Welcome everybody to Memphis, Tennessee, a city that plays host to the annual World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest, and the AXA. Okay, Aqua so they have those green, Liberty Bowl. green and white pants. This is a great matchup. They just switched to white the East top jerseys Pirates and the North Texas Eagles. Welcome to Game Breaker 2001. I'm Keith Jackson. And I wish they would have kept making the Game Breakers for PlayStation 1. Because we got game day up to 2005. Guess they were focused on the PS2. We'll call it Tails. If you guys are alright with that. Okay, so luckily we get to kick first. East Carolina will receive the kick. And it's underway. And like always, got to switch to multiplayer cam. Alright, we're going to start out in the nickel with the cover two. North Texas, showing a four man. <laughs> totally went over there. Dog halfback ever runs a yard without some big ugly knocking another one out of the way. Alright, we'll go four three then. We'll go base. Number seven this... comes for the attack here in the first quarter. Uh... Yeah, we want multiplayer. I keep running to the to the left and he's going to the right. Blocker on that one. Barrett is noggin in there and rooted out the defender. North Texas goes with a four man. Good throw there by Carolina. And he bounces off a tackle. Very nice play there. Oh, that was a halfback pass, I just noticed. Okay, so let's... I guess we'll get into... something heavy. I guess goal line would be good. Is incomplete. Overthrow by number 17. Field, he could do anything. Made him look and feel probably like Humpty Dumpty. We'll go back to that play. North Texas. Joe's <laughs> Ooh, almost got him. Please take him down. The defense closed down the running lanes very quickly on that play. They got some blue chippers on that side of the ball. We'll go back to the goal line and go back to breaker. I think that'll be good. 
fifth play on this drive. <laughs> against the Blitz. The only thing he's caught so far Incomplete. is cold. Thought they might be able to catch that one there at the end, but looks like we are going to hold them. Unless, of course, they go for it, which we don't want them to do that. They're going to be smart and take the field goal. Uh-oh. Okay. So I messed up there and hit the kicker. But luckily they declined that penalty. North Texas will receive the kickoff. <laughs> There's a sign back there that says deal with it. Kind of funny. Alright, we're going to get our running offense going with the power eye. Power eye. Toss left. If you haven't seen the movie Little Giants, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty good 90s feel-good movie. It's got Rick Moranis. Got a whole bunch of cameos. John Madden. A whole bunch of guys from the 90s. It's a good, easy movie to watch, you know. Alright, so what? Two and six. Second and six. We'll go I form power. Hot, hot. <laughs> Trying to dive there at the end. If you're a good defensive tackle, you get off the ball. Get your penetration, then you have Third and three. We're gonna go back to the power eye. We'll go toss left. Pick up these couple of yards here. In motion. And we got it. If you look how that play developed, you can see how the offensive line. Right, should we take a shot downfield just to see, defense. just to test Bring their the secondary? Um, let's go three wide. And got skinny post. Let's go with that. 15 goes to the right. Ah, oh, ran out of time. Sometimes I uh, don't watch the clock. Let's go back to... Let's go trips this time, and we'll go quick outs. The Pirates brings in six defensive backs on first. Base. Come on. And we got it. Huge pass, 27 yards. Looks like our QB's a lefty. Usually we get the uh, right handed ones. Number eight lined up in the eye formation. Uh -oh. They're showing sound fundamentals, old fashioned stuff. As soon as that ball carrier crosses the line, second and nine. The Let's just swarms it. maybe go split back. So we got, we'll, we'll take the tight end and maybe a little quick slant. Fifth play hot, on this hot, drive. Hot, hot. Throw it. Got a whistle. Stop That's pass ball. interference, I think. Let's get some PI going. Yeah, we'll take that. Somehow he picked up a couple. I really do like how you can drag players in this game. It's a little crude, of course, but Still cool how it happens. Number eight, we'll go to work for the split <laughs> Nice. Get a spin move. Oh, we get shoved. But we pick up the first down, so it's not too bad. So we get a little short route here. Ah. 
Seems like those little out routes were were a problem even back in 2001 for game game day and game breaker. It's kind of sad. East Carolina. Oh, <laughs> He tried to split the defenders. Third and eleven. Too much penetration by the defense. This will go trips. Quick out. Number thirteen in the backfield. Knocks the ball away. It isn't always you get the sack. Okay, so we're gonna have to settle for a field goal. Assuming we can make it. This one. To tie the game. We want to kick it. Oh, wait. I was thinking about the game day one. You get it? Didn't. I was expecting the game day 2005 one, uh, kicking meter. That's what happens when you... Uh, Play these different games so much. The Eagles brings in six defenders. Somebody get him. Fumble. Ah. Defender played that very well. Running back tried to slide past the Heisman pose. What happened there? Let's take a second look at that one. So that looks like that was maybe a bug. Yeah, he's bugged out. Never seen that before. Huh. Looks like maybe that was supposed to be a handoff. Maybe he was looking downfield. I don't know. It's clearly going all crazy, so there's something going wrong there. Then he was hit. Boom! Coughs up the ball. Almost cost him a touchdown. North Texas. Throwing a four man. Thirty nineteen. We'll go back to nickel and just go cover two again. Number seventeen. Lined up in the I formation. Don't let him have it. Intercepted. Come on, number 20. Here it is. Here it is. Ah. Sometimes the quarterback makes a good decision, and something bad still happens. In any case, we can be sure he did not end up with Number 20 was thinking pick six, room service there. So close. We're, we're going to get this touchdown. Let's go full RC Slocum, full house. Three in the backfield, just blast it. We got it. I know that was one of RC Slocum's. Uh, Go to formations at the end zone. Okay. Number twenty nine to try the Hot. extra point. Hot. And the kick is good. The okay. Eagles seven, the Pirates three. So this kicking meter is tough too because you can't see it before you kick it. So you have to make all your adjustments as you're kicking it which if you think about it is pretty realistic big hit there it's pretty realistic because um, you know the the kicker has to make adjustments as they're kicking the ball they can't do all their adjustments pre-kick and then just see how it plays out while it is tougher, I do like things to be that way. See, he's doing that again. 
Is, it, is the QB just permanently bugged out? I don't like this. You better wrap that football because they're greedy hands in that stack and they'll take it away from you. At the end of the first quarter, the Eagles seven, the Pirates three. Let's see if it happens again. No. Okay. Interception. There's a penalty on the play, but we're, we're going to see how it plays out. Yeah. I mean, he did dive into my defender. So, check it out. So he dives. Is that really my fault? I think we got robbed on that one. North Texas. <laughs> this program remains committed to the basics of football. Run the ball. Be patient. If you can do that, opportunity will eventually appear. <laughs> the running back gets the yards and the glory. It's pretty cool how they had Keith Jackson's voice. The real credit for that game. Let's say they're just someone generic. Number 17, lined up in the I formation. <laughs> pitch there. Alright, so they're running a lot. So let's go to 4-3. Get an extra linebacker into the mix. Running back did most of that with raw speed. The only way to fight speed is... Speed. North Texas throwing a four man. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Huge busting coverage. Well, I guess I called it, so that was my fault. Okay, that makes it seven to, or seven to ten. Just something really charming about the old MIDI music. I tried. Right, should we take a shot downfield just to check their defense? The Pirates to the dime. Six DBs on. Ah. Uh. That was bad. All right, let's maybe go three to six. That might, uh, I don't know. Well, they're actually running a lot, so we Go don't want Texas. that. Only three. <laughs> Flag down. We're going to give them PI again. I don't agree with that call, but I'm not blaming Keith Jackson's, Jackson's on our side, though. When you have the advantage I have. Okay. Sitting up here where nobody's beating me up, and I've got an instant replay monitor. Got the old 3 4. <laughs> Number 17 comes to the attack. <laughs> <laughs> Great job by the lead blocker on right, that where's the dime? In there and Actually, really let's go to nickel defender. just because they're about five yards away. Maybe we can get a stop. The Eagles 
With six, <laughs> Looks like a first down. Yep. Oh, he's doing it again. Let's go get our fumble. I've never seen... I've never seen Game Breaker do this. He never saw it coming. Defenders were and I've played a lot of Game Breaker 2001. I've never seen this ever in a game. Maybe they have a certain play that's just prone to do this. Glad they missed that one. Three two six cover three. Yeah, let's go cover three. Number seventeen. We'll go to work for the split back. That young defense good. is all over the receivers on his side of the field. The quarterback ought to get the message and quit throwing it over there. Let's get our ball back. Are they gonna go for a field goal? Okay. So we're only down by three points. That'll be more more urgent. To run the ball. Oh, I ran right into him. A textbook example of a defender filling the gap and blowing up a play. Look at that running back wobble. That's not what I wanted. Number eight lined up in the eye. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Welcome to Gridiron Live, where you watch me suck at sports games. <laughs> Yikes. Extra point. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, that was a major, major screw up. Okay, so if we can score get back to within three then we'll get the ball back in the second half let's just uh, keep the ball on the ground first down We'll go for it again. East Carolina. Definitely can't dive like you can in uh, game day 2005. Third and three. Did you get it? The young running back stopped short on the play. Looks like he was able to fall forward, twisting for a couple of yards. I think we should go for it. I think we'll be fine. We got it. And a whole lot more. Maybe had his mind on the post game dance. All right. Coach will take care of that when the game's over. East Carolina throwing a four. You gotta have big linemen who are athletic to beat the defense to the perimeter. Okay, so we got the trees up front showed their stuff. Got out of bounds right there. there. We're gonna flip the toss. East Carolina uh -huh. going only. <laughs> Three. 
Yeah. So. We're just going to keep on running the ball because uh, I've been doing some crazy stuff through the air. The 13 gets hit immediately. The offensive line was simply too slow off the ball. The Gugglies have got to fire out and get to the blocks quicker. We'll go shotgun. East Carolina joined the four-man front. Come on. Oops, got a whistle. Stops the play. Got that P.I. Seventh play of the 35 draft. seconds. <laughs> that young man shows you something. If you're a good defensive tackle, you get off the ball. Get your Call this timeout. Then you have a good time. Disrupt everything. Okay. Power eye, toss left. Receivers in motion. Come on. The way this back is picking them apart, it makes them look like they're playing. Our second timeout. And Okay. So that toss play seems to work a lot of the time. Is it a money play? Uh, I don't think so, but it does work a lot. Sometimes it gets beat handily, it just depends. Okay. So we're back within three. Ten running plays for 54 yards. Hey, why, why throw it through the air if you don't have to? We're going to go 3-2-6. Base. Just in case they want to throw the ball. Blocking like that will bring a smile to the wide face of an offensive line coach. A little job security there. Hot. Hot. The running back gets the yards. The glory. The and that's halftime. And the real credit for that game. At the end of the second quarter. The Pirates, 17. So 103 total offense. Most of that was rushing. So two touchdowns to two versus one field goal. So let's see. So... We are one out of four for 27 yards. Number 13, 75 yards off of 19 attempts. Okay. We are ready for the second half. Okay, let's go to the I form and go to power. Oh, come 
Come on, you just... This game just hates me. Come on. Killing me. You're killing me, Petey. This program remains committed to the basics of football. Run the ball. Be mm, patient. Mm, mm. If you do that, opportunity will eventually appear. Uh, let's see. They're at the... What? At the 26. Let's see. I guess we can go dime. Cover two. The Eagles to the dime. Six. <laughs> Almost got him. ECU is not playing around. They had that one. Big push. Okay, so that's going to put it back to 10 points. It's good. The Pirates, 24. The Eagles, 14. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Comes number four. And he gets tackled. I don't want to get all crazy yet. Where's my power eye? East <laughs> You've heard that old football phrase, hunker down? You just saw it. So we're going to go power eye, but we're going to flip the toss to the right. Decent chunk of yardage there. Uh, go back to the eye form. East Carolina going on the young running back. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Looks like he was able to fall forward, twisting for a couple of yards. My good old, very little passing offense. If you look how that play developed, Hopefully we can get to the end zone this time and not have a magical fumble. Alright, so we're going to go power eye. Maybe we'll pass it. Will, will we dare pass it? What could go wrong? Got square there. Please catch this. We got it. Good catch. Go back to the power eye. Toss to the left. East If you look how that play developed, you can see how the offensive line was able to and off the we'll do it again. And spring the running back. Number eight. If said it once, or said it a thousand times, east west running. He definitely didn't move a lot on that dive. I gotta remember that this isn't game day 2005 where you can dive for five yards. Number eight lined up in the Just gotta run it in. There you go. Good old fashioned muscle. We don't do none of that up tempo crap here.
Alright, so we're back within three. Now we just need the defense to stop him. Or at the very least, hold him to a field goal. That way it's only within seven instead of ten. Should we go nickel? Cover two. North Texas, North Texas. Are they in the wishbone? Somebody get him. Oh, they're in the wishbone. Should we go 4-4? Four, four? Four rubber tires under him. We'll try that. Number 17. Lined up in the <laughs> when those big old earth movers get rumbling, mm, the last looks like ECU's got some big boys zero. at the front. Nice blocking at the point of attack. Strong. Number 17. Lined up in the I formation. <laughs> Those little quick pitches really get me. Starting one. Short gate. Let's try again. Can we get this stop? Ooh, they missed it. They'll probably go for it though. Pretty sure they will. And they don't. Oh, it's a fake. Come on, don't let him catch it. Okay. All right, so we survived the fake. Thank goodness. And the ball falls harmlessly to the ground. Raw speed. The only way to fight speed is speed. We'll just flip it over now. Number eight lined up in the eye. Let's get this block. Defender got himself too involved with the blocker. Missed the tackle on the ball carrier as he went by. All right. I liked that uh, Y clobber play. The field is a scary place for a quarterback. Just needed a bigger arc there. Nowhere to go, right. nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide to. All right, let's go toss left. Number eight lined up in the eye formation. <laughs> Did we get the first down? No, almost. A speedy kid can change the complexion of the game before you get your seat after a popcorn run. Okay, let's go toss left. Receivers in motion. <laughs> Tried the stiff arm, but it didn't down. work. Not doing their jobs. Running back, taking it to him. East Carolina showing an eight-man front at the end of the third quarter. The Pirates, 24. The Eagles, Okay, 21. so we're pretty close. Just need to not do something stupid. 
which is apparently kind of hard for me. The pirates showing blips. It's a blip. Oh. went right through. I didn't even see it. Okay, that. We're just gonna run it. See if we can get closer. In motion. All right. This one to tie the game. Not enough power. <sighs> the Eagles with six, now five. We've kind of been getting lucky with those um, overthrown passes a little bit. Get him. There we go. Tackle for loss. Third and 14. We're going to go 3 2 6. Space. North Texas. There we go. Get him off me. I hope the quarterback's colorblind. Then he don't have an excuse for throwing the ball to that fella in the other shirt. East Carolina showing a <laughs> to the sidelines incomplete. Thought I would try that real quick. East Carolina. <laughs> Ball carrier acquired some real estate thanks to poor tackling by an inept defender. Time to flip the toss. Let's see if, okay, let's see if we can get these six yards here. Of course, the one time to pull a hamstring on a crucial third down. Ridiculous. Fourth and five. You got it. Get off me. If this keeps up, it could be. All right, so we got the backup in there. I don't know how good he is. Just grease the holster, hold the trigger, and pull your chin strap tight. East Carolina. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. East-West running doesn't do you much good. You go north All right, and south let's if you want to go. real estate and win the football game. <laughs> kind of looking for square here. Number eight. <laughs> Touchdown. Nice. He had a good edge on the defender. And kind of just turned around and caught it. Alright, so that puts us up by three already. This is going to put it out of field goal range. Puts it at four points. Four running plays for 20 yards. Two passing plays for 21 yards. A 21 yard touchdown pass. It's not very often that I throw touchdown passes in, in this game. Or really, in any game. It does feel good, though. It's like three, three or four fumbles in this game so far. Alright. We'll start out in the nickel. 
Number 38 in motion. <laughs> Number 55 with the tackle. You may not want him sitting next to you on a plane, but when you are running back, the big guys up front are your best friend. North Hot. Texas showing Hot. a four man. <laughs> When you start letting the offensive lineman push Okay, so they get like the first that, down. This is going to feel like two weeks. Do we want to go three, four? <laughs> North Texas. Going on to three. <laughs> what? Some head button on that play. Nothing ventured. Don't know what happened there. Let's see. Will they show it again? He lost it in the... In in the in the uh, the pileup. Okay, well, I mean, there's only what three minutes left. There's no reviews in this game, so we we got the ball. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. East-west running doesn't do you much good. You go north and south if you want to gain real estate and win the football game. East Carolina going on to three. So we'll just let the clock run down a little bit here. Three, two. If you look how that play developed, you could see how the offensive line was able to seal off the perimeter of the defense. What other plays back. are there? We got toss, solid. Let's try that. That'll be a toss to the right, I think. Decent yardage. HP twist. That's a dive play. Here's a fullback dive. East Carolina. I don't think we got much there. As soon as that ball carrier crosses the line of scrimmage, the defense just swarms it. Okay, third and five. Probably should uh, get this first down. Close. If you look how that play developed, you could see how the offensive line was able to seal off the perimeter of the defense. And okay, the we got it. Outside running is definitely where it's at in these older games. Game day, game breaker. Sometimes running up the middle works well, um, but generally the gaps are pretty pretty well covered. But I've I've had some success running up the middle in game day 2005. Number 12 in motion. Hot. There we go. Defender got himself too involved with the blocker. Missed the tackle on the ball carrier as he went by. We're just going to play it safe and keep it on the ground. Number eight lined up in the eye for Get this win. Ah. Okay, so R1 is definitely the pitch. As was demonstrated on that play. Or maybe lateral. Had better go back and read the manual. A lot of fumbles this game. Power eye toss left. Nice play of the drive. Instantly laid out. If there's nothing on the outside, the running back's got to lower the shoulder, stick his head in there, and pay the price. East Carolina shows Hot. blitz. Hot. Gonna let this run down. Hot. Hot. 
And that was dumb. Okay, so we're going to have to play defense here. We'll stay in the 3 2 6. They can't stop the clock, but they're just going to chuck it. Are they going to get an extra play? They might. Okay, so they get one more play. I'm going to go cover four. And that is it. Number 13, of course, was the player of the game. All right. So we win time of possession, total offense 311, 82 passing, and 229 rushing. So we're doing our best uh, service academy impression by rushing almost every play. Three out of eight, yikes. That's definitely not going to attract any talent. At least not arm talent. Number 13 is injured, unfortunately. Number 4 did a pretty decent job coming in. So you know sacks, unfortunately. Okay. I really like the way they have the helmets here. I wonder if they if they somehow do it dynamically or if they just like took a screenshot basically of a model of every single helmet. Okay, so we win that one 28 to 24. Tech loses to Syracuse. Georgia whips Maryland in the Peach Bowl. Texas beats Oregon. And their 40,000 uniforms couldn't save them. Nebraska in the Cotton Bowl beats USC. Hmm, Virginia Tech losing to Clemson in the Gator Bowl. Citrus Bowl is taken by Ohio State. Red Zone Bowl is taken by Florida State, of course. I think this is still the Bobby Bowden era, or maybe towards the end of it. And Houston loses by one point to TCU in the Game Breaker Bowl. Close game. So this was a All-Texas National Championship game. And we got a barn burner here in the Humanitarian Bowl. Louisville takes it 13-6 against the Idaho Vandals. Marshall losing to Southern Miss in the Motor City. Colorado State whipping Tulsa in the Football Classic. Utah beats Mississippi. Brigham Young beats Arizona. Miami, the U, takes it 21-6 against Vanderbilt. And that's it. So we finish 
12 and 1, 5 and 0 Big West champs, and ranked number 13 in the nation. Not bad for year number three. Congratulations on a great year. We've exceeded the expectations of many people in the administration. Great job, but we've got to keep working. Okay, so we, we go back up to offense coach. We lose our fullback, almost a 70. We lose our punter and our kicker. And that's about it. Alrighty, so... Seventy-seven cornerback here. Let's go. Let's go strength. See, we'll see what we get. Defensive tackle. Hmm. Here's an eighty overall fullback. That that'd be useful. Two defensive tackles at seventy-two and seventy-nine. Linebacker at seventy-one. Guard at 78 and 72. I think we'll take this class. We're starting to get into the yellow with our wide receivers and tight ends. Very nice. Uh, we'll take 84. Let's see. We'll take this guy. Wide receiver. Take this guy from Florida and the tight end, 81. Offensive lineman, 85. No recruits came to North Texas. That's unfortunate. Okay, so our sophomore is now 78, and I think he was start. He started at a 74, so he's gone up four points. Surprisingly. Our senior has a 69 arm, but he is an 82 overall. Okay, so... TCU, probably don't want to play them since they just won the national championship game. We'll play Southern Miss, I think. Uh, they're already on the schedule. Oh, Temple. If you don't want to play Penn State, we'll play Purdue, I think, is a good choice. And Oregon State, we'll switch that. Um, we'll go SMU. Right. Big surprise there. 12 and 0. Undefeated overall and in conference play. So we take the Big West title again two years in a row. Let's take a look at the schedule. So we get the Red Zone Bowl versus Florida. See how we did against some of the stronger teams. I guess Purdue was the closest one. We finished number six, so we're not going to play this bowl game, but we're going to sim it, of course. So the Red Zone Bowl is number three behind. Uh, National title and sports bowl. So we lose that one 20 to 7. TCU is in the sports bowl. And they lose to Virginia Tech. The national title was, was between Clemson and Florida State. So that was in the ACC matchup. Clemson takes that one. Let's see if we can find the Aggies. So Houston was in the, in the Liberty Bowl. All right, 
right, so they finally won a bowl game. Number 19, they finished 30, or they win 34 to 21 against Syracuse in the Insight.com Bowl. Not a bad year. We're still an offense coach. So we're going to be losing our 87 overall tight end and our senior quarterback at 82 overall. And the rest are sub-70 players. Here's a 70 overall QB at sophomore. Uh, not quite. Let's go balanced. Here's a 75 freshman. We got a 75 tight end and a 71 fullback. And a and defensive end not too strong at 64. But we'll take it just for the QB. Just to have a little bit of decent backups going. All right. We'll try to get somebody by picking the lowest. Oh, here's a 91. Okay, so we got 81 halfback and an 80 quarterback. We got two 80 overalls. One's a freshman, one's a junior, so... We have a decent backup, and we'll have a freshman... Four years. So that, that'll be good. For 13. The senior. Wide receiver is looking alright. At least three deep. Defensive end. Number 85 is pretty good. Defensive line is still a little bit weak. Okay, let's take Alabama out and go Arizona. Let's take Virginia Tech out and go Wake Forest. And let's add decent team here. Uh, maybe we'll go Washington. Yeah, we'll go Washington. Okay. Okay, respectable, 8-3. and three. We're still 4-0 in conference, but I don't know if that means if we won the championship. We are the Big West champs, okay. Finished ranked number 31. So we probably won't Okay, we got a bowl game against Houston. Kind of a wild ride for Houston. They were playing in the national championship game, and then the following year they played in the Liberty Bowl, and now they're in the lowest bowl, which is the Humanitarian. So Houston's having a little bit of trouble staying consistent, but at least they're going to bowl games. We take that one 10 to 17. That's good. And Hawaii coming in at number two, losing to number one, Oklahoma. So Hawaii somehow finds its way in the Game Breaker Bowl. Kind of a surprise candidate there, or Dark Horse. Red Zone Bowl between Auburn and Texas. LSU loses to Clemson in the Peach Bowl. And a &M loses a close one against number 14, Purdue, in the Alamo Bowl. Moving on to next season. Still at the offense coach position. So we're losing our star halfback and a pretty good wide receiver as well. Defensive end. So maybe we can look to... 
replace our halfback wide receiver and some of the defensive line. We got three defensive linemen that are over 70. Two linebackers, 180, 170. So it's a pretty good defensive class and an 80 guard. The halfbacks are kind of weak. So we'd be kind of locking ourselves into two weak halfbacks, both at freshmen, so they're going to be around for four years. That's not going to be the greatest thing. But is it worth the, the, the boost in defense? I think it is, especially with the linebackers. And we get two pretty good offensive linemen, so we'll take it. We still have one or two decent halfbacks, so we'll take this guy since we're at the top of his list. Halfback. We'll take uh, this guy, freshman, 80 overall. Fullback. Let's see. Take the 85. Oh man, this guy's a freshman, and he's a 98. Wide receiver from Cedar Falls. <laughs> Oops. In a tight end, we'll go 83 from Sugarland. And we get him 98 overall wide receiver, so he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And another linebacker at 83. Okay, so our defense should be a little bit more stout. Defensive ends are still a little bit weak. Defensive tackles are a little bit better. Linebackers though, we get two good linebackers, two decent ones, and two backups. Secondary is still a little bit weak. Nobody is above 80. Okay, so we got Notre Dame. Let's take them off, go Northwestern. I think that's an okay schedule. We got Boise State. Who I think is a decent team to play in this game. Alright, let's sim and find out where we go. Not too bad. We do get double digit wins. 10 and 1, 4 0 in conference. Independence Bowl against LSU. That's going to be a tough one. We just totally whipped Pittsburgh 58 to 6. Not a good look for uh, Dan Marino's alma mater. Okay, so let's check out the bowl game. So we face the Bayou Bengals in the Independence Bowl. And we beat them 24 to 6. Southern Miss beats Notre Dame. Alabama loses to Ohio State. Look at that. Aggie's stepping it up in the 989 Sports Bowl. That's that's one away from the national title. So they win a tough one, a low scoring game, 13 to 10 against the Colorado Bison or Buffalo. One of those. I forget which which one they are. I think it's Buffalo. So 13 to 10. Colorado had a decent little stint there in the mid to late 90s, I think. Texas loses to Michigan in the Game Breaker Bowl, 38-10. to Curious to see where A&M ends up next year.
Let's see where we are stat-wise. So there we are at 40 touchdowns. So we're at number nine uh, overall passing touchdowns. Uh, rushing. The 31. Let's see if we're at the top of any of these lists. Yards per reception, okay. Let's take a look at player stats. Let's see. Looking for dang the fullbacks carrying the ball a lot. Well, I'm assuming number 18. Yeah, 52 receptions, 19 carries. He's taking the ball on rushes a couple times. Not bad. I haven't been looking at the Heisman Trophy at all. Forgot about that. Michigan takes the Heisman with their QB. Texas A&M at number five there with their halfback. Best of the best. All American teams. So we finish 12, 11, and 1. So we are in a pretty weak conference. Idaho is best out of all of them. Okay, still at offense, coach. So we lose our senior QB. Senior halfback, senior wide receiver. So we lose a couple pieces on offense. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Let's recruit speed. He's a 79 QB. I think he's a junior, so. Any standouts? It's not going to be a very big class. 79 freshman. 75 halfback, also freshman. 70 wide receiver. We'll take that class. Halfbacks are a little bit weak. Actually, the weakest group out of all, but not by much. Uh oh. Let's see if we can get him. North Texas, another fullback. Tight end. Let's see, Georgia's pretty close. Uh oh, we're gonna be wrecking some havoc with number. Uh, uh, that freshman QB right there. So once your team starts kind of getting better, you can start uh, beefing up your schedule and then we'll have a higher chance of making the national title. So let's do just that. Okay. We got Virginia Tech there. Is that team we want to play. Let's switch that to Virginia and we'll add let's see 
We'll add Oklahoma State. How about that? It's not a cupcake. Lose that one. Darn. So we're not quite ready, I guess. Or maybe we just played a bad game. We finished this year 10-2, and two, still 4-0 in conference. I think we're going to win the conference pretty much every year now. Because we're stacked and uh, Big West is not going to be a strong conference. So the Jeep Aloha football classic. Christmas football classic between North Texas and Washington State. We totally destroy Washington Washington State 55 to 3. AM plays UCLA in the Holiday Bowl and shuts them out 20 to nothing. Penn State loses to Washington in the Rose Bowl. Miami sh gets shut out by Oklahoma. And Alabama lose or beats BYU 24-21 in the national title. Okay. Let's check the stats on that QB we just got. Okay, so... There we are at number two with offensive touchdowns, passing touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. We're number one points total and points per game. Passing efficiency number one. Receiving number four. Receptions per game number five. Yards from scrimmage number nine. Total defense number eight, defense per game number three, kicking number one. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, so definitely stepping up in offensive production. Still an offense coach. There we lose our fullback. We lose a kicker and a punter, a defensive tackle, and a linebacker. Let's go to strength. So there we have a decent fullback. Decent kicker. Okay punter. Need I need something more on defense. An 80 overall punter. There's two guards that are at 70. Kind of want to see at least a 70 for the defensive end and the defensive tackle. Question is, can we get it? Got two decent uh, wide receiver and tight end there. An 80 overall defensive end. Hmm. Two 70 guards, 70 cornerback. 75 linebacker, 79 defensive tackle. It's not too bad. I think we'll take this class. A little weak on the receiver, but. Definitely want to uh, reload at the quarterback position every year. Now we can start kind of picking some higher numbers. There's another quarterback. May never play him just because we have that 99 overall and he was a freshman, so he's always going to be high, higher rated than this guy. But you know, something could happen. 
might might need them. Okay, so we're pretty stacked right now at the QB spot. Wide receiver is a little top heavy. Switch that to, uh, let's go something a little bit better. UCLA maybe? Yeah. Let's, let's add Washington in there. I know they're a pretty strong team right now. It's looking good. Alright, finish number three, just out of reach for the national title game. Okay, UCLA whipped them and whipped Washington too. Not bad. UAB was a pretty close game, funnily enough. So our bowl game is against Alabama. And we lose that one 14-7, unfortunately. BYU in the title game again, but they lose this time to uh, Notre Dame. Let's find A&M. Okay, so they play in the Alamo Bowl. Respectable win against Ohio State. Good, good for them. Uh, it's another thing I don't quite like about this game is that the offense, the promotions are a little bit wank, uh, wonky. Seems like no matter how much you win, it kind of takes a lot more to get promoted. It doesn't really change the gameplay at all, but... So we, uh... Who's a lot of players this class? What do we got? Offensive tackle at 80. Fairly decent uh, offensive line here. Most of them freshmen. That could be crucial. I think we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take this class. Up the blocking a little bit. We'll kind of pick some higher numbers here. Just because, you know, we're doing a little bit better as a team, so you might... Okay, so we didn't get anything. I can go back and do it again but I don't want to abuse the blue chips. We're stacked at QB right now. ECU, Clemson, Duke. I think it's a decent schedule, actually. Nice. Okay, didn't lose once, but we're at number four this time. What we might have to do next year is beef up the schedule a little bit more. We did be Clemson. And totally whipped ECU. Got Oklahoma State. Beat them. So we finished number two this time. Notre Dame takes it for two years in a row. AM beats uh, Pittsburgh this time. Still at number 16, though. Still an offense coach. Alright, so our senior QB is out. But that was our backup, so we still have a year or two left with. Or 99 overall QB. That's what's kind of interesting about Game Breaker is that sometimes you think you're stacked and you're going to probably make it to the title game. 
and then you don't quite get there. And then somewhere along the way, when you least expect it, it hits. At least that's what I've seen. So I, I do like that, that you don't absolutely have to have a stacked roster. But sometimes, you know, the stars just align. But you, you, you do need a good roster. You can't get in there with nothing. Okay, so what's left? 80 overall wide receiver. A couple decent receivers there. Secondary. Got a couple 75s ish average. Defensive line's a little bit top heavy there with that 80 overall. I do like that 80 wide receiver though. Almost two wide receivers at 80. 70 overall quarterback. We'll take this class. So we're starting to go down a little bit. Half back. Tight end. Wide receiver. Okay, got a wide receiver and a linebacker. That's good. But we have one year left with this guy. So we should probably maybe go out on a limb a little bit. We'll play Texas Tech. UCLA. No, Stanford's not in our conference. Maybe Tennessee? Okay, so it's the last year with our 99 overall QB, so we kind of stacked that up. We'll see how well we do. It's one loss. Okay. Thought we would have finished a little bit better than that. Tennessee and Texas Tech weren't much of a challenge. Independence Bowl against Auburn. We win that one. A&M beats Minnesota in the Alamo Bowl. Who else? Texas whips Oregon State in the Cotton Bowl. Embarrassment there by Ohio State, 14 to 40. Alabama loses to Miami in the red zone. TCU loses to BYU and Michigan loses to number one Nebraska. Cornhuskers. Okay, so now we're probably going to take a bit of a dip here. Now that the QB's gone. Here's an 80 overall freshman QB and an 80 overall uh, cornerback. We'll take this class. Here's an 86. We'll go 88 maybe. We'll go 85 on the fullback, 80. Go 89 on the wide receiver, 87 on the tight end, 84 on the O-line, and we get no one. Alright, so we're going to be a little bit weaker this year, I think. But let's, let's finish strong. Let's play Texas. See how that goes. Oh man. So close. Hmm. Oh, 
Ohio must be having a good year if they're going to be playing in the Sports Bowl. Nebraska in the Game Breaker Bowl again. So we win against Ohio. And Nebraska takes it again. A&M loses this time in the Insight.com Bowl to Miami, Florida. Classic matchup here between USC and Texas. I don't know if it was classic in 2000, but it became a classic. Okay. Still no promotions. Losing a fullback, a defensive tackle. A lot of good players, actually. There goes our 95 overall tackle. A couple de decent linebackers there. Fairly decent offensive line and some decent linebackers. Let's go balanced. Should we go passing? Full back. We'll go 85. Here's a guy from Louisiana. Dang. Not doing too well in the uh, blue chip area. Kentucky. So let's go out on a limb again. We'll go Georgia this time. And North Carolina. Okay. That's one loss. Two losses. Nine and two. Conference title is basically just a given now. Okay, so let's... And we lose the football classic to Stanford. Bit of a lackluster year. Let's take a look at our progress here. This career is about halfway done. You get about 20 or so years, 20 seasons. We've won every conference title. As realistic as that is, whole games. A lot of good bowl games that we won. So our win percentage is at 82%. So I need to get ranked 10th or better and more than 300 scrimmage, yard, scrimmage yards per game. So that, I think that's what you need to uh, move up. So basically, you need a lot of offensive output and you need to get ranked. I think we'll sim one more season and then we'll have to save it for part two after that. Eighty overall halfback. That'll be very useful. A couple of good tight ends there. All right, let's see who we can get. Uh oh, can we get another ninety-nine freshman? If only. Only got the tight end, but I guess that's okay. Georgia, Florida State. Hmm, it's a pretty tough schedule, but I, th I think we'll leave it. Just to see if maybe we can squeak in, in into the number two rank. It's one loss. Ten and one. So 
So we lose to Florida State by one point. We were able to beat the likes of Georgia, Fresno State, Clemson, close one. Totally destroyed Idaho with a basketball score, 70 to nothing. So here's another Liberty Bowl berth against Louisville. So we'll see how that goes. And we we win that one, 24 to 17. We do finish rank number 10, so maybe they'll bump us up. And m again in the Insight Bowl, beating Virginia Tech, 37 to 14. Not bad for the Aggies. And the Holiday Bowl. Taken by Texas, 47 to 7. Let's go. So in the national title, we have Washington and Oregon State. Followed by the 989 Sports Bowl. Alabama losing to Syracuse. And Oklahoma beating Auburn. USC takes the Rose Bowl. Okay. Still an offense coach. So we lose a wide a lot of good wide receivers. Hmm. Not a whole lot in the, uh... That's kind of how it is when it's so many players. The points are a little bit more spread out. You don't have as many standouts. So we do replace a lot of good wide receivers with some decent ones. Mostly freshmen, all above 70. So that'd be kind of useful to take. go out on a limb. Let's reach for greatness and pick all the highest numbers. Might get lucky, you never know. Get a 91 overall defensive end, that, that'll be useful. Let's see, Notre Dame, that'll be a tough one. Instead of UConn, let's go someone strong like... Uh, Maybe an SEC team like Alabama. Alright, so we're at the Sim. Two losses. Three losses. Seven and three. Losing to Nevada. That's a sad loss. This might be... One of the worst schedules I've, I, uh, I've had in a while. Playing some tough games. Uh, at least it's close. Still a loss though. Alabama, zero to fourteen. Notre Dame, ten to seventeen. And Nevada, fourteen to seventeen. So a lot of low, low scoring games against mid-level teams. And we don't get a bowl game, unfortunately. Michigan whips Washington. Where's A and M? And m loses to Penn State, 21-6. Tough one. Okay. Here's an 80 overall quarterback, defensive end. Decent cornerback. go highest number here which is an 85 pull back we'll take one from Georgia Louisiana Illinois we'll get this get this guy okay decent 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 class here and 
halfback, a fullback, and a tight end. All around 82. Alright, so this will be my last simmed season. We'll leave the schedule as is. Wouldn't be that difficult. Okay, so we finished number four. Love it and no. Lose to BYU, unfortunately. And Nebraska again takes the Game Breaker Bowl. So we finish this season 11 1, 5 0. Once again, Big West champs. And for about the third or fourth time, we fall short of the national title game. Um, but we're going to continue this uh, North Texas run in the next one. So that's to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one.